In this video, we're doing a couple simple examples about how to find the area of a triangle. And the formula that we always use to find the area of a triangle is area A is equal to 1 half times base times height. And you'll also see it written as base times height all divided by 2, or BH over 2. So either way, this is the formula we're going to be using. And if we apply it to a very simple example here, we have a triangle. We can see that the base of the triangle has length 4. The height of the triangle has length 7. And all we have to do is plug that into our area formula. So we just say area is equal to base times height divided by 2. So 4 times 7 all divided by 2, which will be 28 divided by 2, or 14. So we can say the area of that triangle is 14. And the reason that this works is because if you think about it, all we're really doing is we're finding the area of the rectangle that this triangle would create, right? If we sketched out this rectangle here and we wanted to find the area of the rectangle, we would just say base times height for the rectangle to get the area. So 4 times 7 would be 28. That would be the area of the entire thing. But, of course, we're only interested in half of the area of the rectangle. This area is outside of our triangle, so it shouldn't be included in the area. We're only interested in half. And so that's why we say, basically, the area of the rectangle divided by 2 just to give me the area of the triangle. So what about another example like this one where it's not a right triangle? Well, same thing here. If we imagine that we have a rectangle like this, right, formed with our triangle, then we would say to get the area of the rectangle, we would take base times height. Well, we can see that the base is 8 and the height is 3. So we would say area equals base times height, or 8 times 3. But again, we only want the area of the triangle, so we just divide by 2. So we say 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. So the area is going to be 12. The fact that they gave us the measurement here of 5 for this edge of the triangle is irrelevant. We don't need to use it in our calculation. Whenever we're finding the area of a triangle, we only need base and height. Same thing here with this last example. We've been given this triangle here, and we could think about the rectangle being drawn like this, but we're only going to be using half of the area to get the area of this triangle. And so what we do is we recognize that area is going to be base, or 14, 14, times the height, or 6, divided by 2 just to get the area of the triangle instead of the rectangle. So 14 times 6 is going to be 84. 84 divided by 2 is going to be 42, and so the area will be 42. Sometimes you'll have examples like this one where you have to find the area of a triangle when you only have the three vertices or the three corners of the triangle. So the easiest way to go about finding the area of this triangle is first to just graph each of these points and then draw in the triangle so you make sure you've got an idea of what you're looking at. So let's go ahead and graph the points. We have the point negative 2, 1. So we'll come over here to negative 2 and then up to positive 1 and we get this point right here. Then we look at the point 4, 1, so we come out to 4 and up to positive 1, this point right here. Then we have the point 1, negative 3, so we come out to 1 and then down to negative 3, which will be this point right here. And then we can go ahead and connect these points to form a triangle, and this is what it looks like. These points are directly across from each other, horizontally, and then we have our final segment like this. So here's our triangle, and it's sort of similar to the second example we did here. If we look at or pretend that we have this height coming through right here and a 90 degree angle like this, then we can look at this length here as the base and this vertical length here as the height. So if we look at the base, we can see that the base starts at negative 2 and comes all the way up here to positive 4. So I've got two units on the left of the y-axis and four units on the right of the y-axis. So 2 plus 4 is going to give me 6, so I can say that the base has a width here of 6. And then what about the height? Well, I can see that the top of the triangle is here at positive 1. The bottom of the triangle is here at negative 3. So I have one unit above the x-axis, three units below the x-axis. So 1 plus 3 is going to give me 4. So my height will then be 4. So now if I want to find the area of this triangle, again, I just say area is going to be base times height and then divided by 2, because base times height would give me the area of this rectangle right here, which would look like this. 
but I don't want the area of the rectangle, I only want the area of the triangle. So we'll get six times four is 24, 24 divided by two is 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and get 12 for the area of this triangle as defined by its three vertices. So those are just a few examples of how you can find the area of a triangle.